Hello guys, this is Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to show you how to build an Australian train. So this time we're going to build the National Rail NR class, and this is an Australian diesel locomotive, and it's operated by Pacific National. Uh, now I'm going to show you a 360 view before I made an Australian road train, but that was <laughs> an automobile, but this is an actual train we have, and that's what it looks like. It's been sitting in the yard for a while and I decided to touch up upon it today and uh, yeah it looks pretty good right now and let's get started so first off we're gonna place black wool in the center and alongside it uh, we're gonna add yellow hardened clay and one on top like that and then add black wool in these corners then we're gonna have um, nether brick stairs uh, like this and uh, we want it to do it like that since we have the stairs in the front so we're gonna take an oak stairs put that on top of that as well to make the steps and let's add oak upside down right here and then let's take upside down uh, oak stairs <laughs> uh, sorry I'm kind of sick right now <laughs> All right, so then add a full five block wide upside down oak stairs like that. And let's add uh, this yellow hardened clay on the sides. And on one side, let's add blue wool. And the other side, let's add quartz. And the middle is quartz as well. And that's just their logo. And on top of that, let's add some gray carpet all the way across. And let's add more yellow wool, like right over here, all the way up. And let's go after this part, and let's take out our scion hardened clay, make it three blocks wide, like that. And we're gonna make it 31 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 30, 31. And after that, uh, of course, do <clears throat> the other side so that it's uh, three blocks wide. <clears throat> Got to clear out my throat. I've been sick for a while, so that really sucks. All right, so once we're done with that, let's go to the back and add this back plate right there. And we're going to take uh, the black wool and add that like this. And we're going to make this M shape. And in the gaps, let's fill that in with the yellow hardened clay. And let's add a coupling made of stone brick slab right there. And let's add the coupling to the front as well. Then let's take a trip wire hook, add that alongside the coupling, and a stone button right here for some lights I think and let's go to the back let's add some more trip wire hooks like that I didn't add it to the original one so I should do it right there and then after that let's uh, <clears throat> work on the cab so we're gonna take some more yellow hardened clay and make it four blocks long so one two three four same thing on the other side and then we're going to take uh, quartz and add two right here. It's also, I think it's numbers. I'm not sure. And add the yellow hardened clay right there. And then we're going to take um, our gray wool, which we don't have, so let me grab that from here. And take a uh, black stained glass. And let's fill this part in with the uh, gray wool. Although I didn't do it in the original one. Oh well. And then let's add a center pillar made of gray wool and pillars here and here. And skip one block and add another pillar in the back. And in the gaps, let's fill that in with the black stain glass pane. Like that. And actually, since uh, we want to blend this in, maybe we should just keep it the way it was so that it's one color. 
All right, then we're gonna take some more yellow hardened clay and add it uh, three blocks wide on top for the roof. And we're gonna make it uh, five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, so after that, let's add some more oak wood uh, stairs on the sides. And then uh, near the front, let's add a sign for the number plate on either side of the center. And in the center, we're going to have an open fence gate. So we're going to use birch for the light. I'm going to put that right, right around there. So let me just temporarily remove that and make sure it's open like that. And on top of that, let's add a horn. So let's add a gray carpet right there so that we can place the iron trap door and we want to have it sticking out like that all right then we're gonna take uh, iron I think this iron bar yeah we're gonna add that right here like that little diagonal one's like the side mirror and this is like just a bar so I use the same block for both of them Alright, so after that, let's take some more yellow hardened clay and uh, fill this in. And actually, you can do this, make a whole wall like that. And then let's take uh, some blue wool, make a door frame right here. It's like a giant C. And then let's add the door, which is an iron door right here alright so once we do that uh, let's go to the back part and let's add three blocks of blue wool and let's take uh, oak wood stairs put that like that so that we have like this little pocket thing here in the back then let's take some more uh, yellow hardened clay Fill this in, making a T shape, and it should be like three blocks long, including this one. And let's add some signs in the back for more number plates. And also remember in the front we also have the lights, so let's add that birch fence gate open like that. And on top of that, uh, the same thing, it's just gray carpet, and then you get an iron trap door, and then the horn sticks out in the back as well. All right, so after that, let's uh, add some wheels. So we're gonna get hoppers and uh, move that over here. We're gonna leave a gap of two. And we're gonna have two hoppers per one wheel. So we're gonna have six axles in total. So this is gonna be uh, three axles on this side. And in between them, let me add the stone brick slabs. Let's go to front to make the other three. So um, we're going to skip two from this edge. So one, two, right here. And just start making it in the side as well. And fill in the between them with the stone brick slab. All right, so next let's add some more stone brick slab. Fill in this part, we'll leave a gap of one. Same thing on the side, so leave a gap here. Add it like that. <coughs> and then fill the sides in. Cross, like so, and do the same thing on the other side. Alright, so on this side, it's going to be asymmetrical, so the other side looks a little different. On this side, we're going to have like two pipes that go across, so we're going to take uh, stone brick stairs. Add that right here. We're going to skip this one and just add like six of them. And then skip one, add uh, polished andesite, I think, right here. And it's going to be like a box. So then we're going to take the stone brick slab and add that right under this block and under the stairs. 
and we'll just leave it like that over there and for the other side we're going to take the polish and site and just uh, completely fill that in the entire side and add the stone brick slab underneath all right then we're going to take our oak wood uh, oak wood slab i don't have it so let me just grab that and we're going to add the oak wood slabs like here all the parts along the side that aren't uh, taken we're going to fill that in except for the back we're going to leave uh, two spaces in the back for the steps so we'll just leave these two alone and the rest we're going to fill that in alright so once we're done with that let's take our um, let's make these stairs over here so alright so let's take our oak wood stairs and add uh, it right under this uh, between these two axles so right here and just add upside down and in the bottom of that we're going to add stone slab so this is going to be the ladder do the same thing on the other side and then after that let's take our uh, let's see birch birch fence and just add that right here in the back and take our oak wood uh, stairs and add that upside down like that and right side up so it kinda looks like this and let's do the same thing on the other side so that's how it should look like and then let's take more of the birch fence add it right here and let's make it this part so these are going to be like the Australian flag they have these stars so let's make that and usually all of the NR classes I see them have some kind of banner here I don't know why they have that though but let's make it anyways so first is blue then quartz then two blue quartz two blue and that's the same pattern on the other side what I did alright then we're gonna take uh, bedrock add two of them right here like that and then let's add uh, blue wool uh, behind this row and also make it a uh, three block stall so one two three and just fill in this entire uh, wall with uh, blue wool all and also the roof part just fill that in as well all right then we're gonna take our um <coughs> sorry all right then we're gonna take our quartz and place them right here just leave a hole and another one right here and you can see there's like kind of diagonally like this it doesn't really matter where you place it though I mean I'm not perfect all right so after that let's add this vent over here so we get place a bedrock adjacent to the quartz and then we're gonna add alright so I did mess up I guess yeah I'm not perfect so we're gonna remove this one then put the bedrock right here for the vent alright so after that let's take our uh, blue wool just line the sides of it and I'll yeah just make it as tall as you can as the rest of the locomotive and I watch videos of this and these things go pretty fast I thought they would be kinda slow but no alright so I'm just filling this entire thing in with the blue wool and then we're gonna add some more details to it
All right, so let's make a logo. So we're gonna go over here with the bedrock, and we're gonna punch a hole. We're gonna skip this one and punch a hole to this one. Then we're gonna skip this one, add three holes. So one, two, three. Same thing on the other side, and then we're gonna add a quartz on this side. In the other side, we're gonna use a yellow hardened clay because the logo is going to be reversed and then we're going to punch uh, three more holes on each side and do the alternate color so that side is going to turn quartz and this side is going to be yellow and just complete it uh, skip one here add a block and this is the logo I said in the live stream it kind of looked like a cigarette Right, they use the same color. And I just added the space here just to make it look more interesting. All right, so after that, let's uh, make this bend over here. So it's gonna be a two by two uh, diagonal to this one, right underneath to the side. And yeah, just do a two by two bedrock. Then uh, let's add this uh, part that sticks up. So we're going to add three upside down stone brick stairs, uh, one block of space between that and the, the cab. All right. <clears throat> so after that, let's add uh, the fences. And maybe that's pretty much it, right? So let's take a birch fence from an inventory and get some spider shrig and what else? Oh yeah, we need the white uh, white carpet, so let's get that. And let's start to place it. So you could go to the front and add two birch fences here. Then skip one since we need entrance. Add one layer, then every other block it should be a birch fence. Until we reach this. <clears throat> Same thing. <coughs> I'm really sick right now. Same thing on the other side. So two like that. Every other block here. I hope you're following along, right? All right. So then we're gonna add two strings over here in this uh, stairwell. Then strings uh, between the birch, except the one where it has the ladder. So right here, just skip that one. You don't need it. And just place the string down, and this is so that we can hold up the railing without looking weird. So we're gonna take a white carpet, just add that along the side, and make sure it goes above the stairwell because it actually does that. It just goes across, and yeah, of course we leave a gap right there. I was confused for a second. Alright, so that's the finishing touch of my NR class. Wow, <laughs> finally we're done with the build. So that's how you build the Pacific National NR class. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned how to build it. Uh, it's been sitting in my yard for quite a long time, so I'm glad that I'm finally getting it over with. And um, yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, uh, smash that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos in the future and I will see you guys next time. Bye.